Hello coolers and welcome to another interesting episode of this channel where we are going to be discussing on some two developing stories for FC Barcelona. With Ronald Koeman's job still hanging in the air and of course Barcelona currently looking for his replacement, a new name have just entered the list and this is the assistant to Pep Guardiola in Manchester City by name Juan Manuel Lilo. We are going to be discussing on that development as we move ahead then to conclude we are going to be discussing on a recent critic a harsh critic on luke de young from this our legend don luis suarez miramontes you no know, he spoke harshly about luke de young and he made a very very harsh statement saying that who the hell recommended luke de young we are going to be discussing on that interview from that legend as we progress so colors as we get ready to discuss those stories in more detail, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and please make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. As per Mundo Deportivo, a surprise candidate has emerged on the radars of Barcelona as a potential option to replace manager Ronald Koeman. It is no secret at this point that Ronald Koeman's job is hanging by a thread after a disappointing 3 loss away to Benfica. However, an announcement on the matter is yet to be made as President Juan Laporta is waiting for the La Liga game against Atletico Madrid to be on the way. So the, the report states that irrespective of the outcome against the La Liga champions, Coman's fate is sealed, you know, and he will be relieved of his duties during the international break. Laporta would have liked to give the Dutchman more time to see how the team does now that Ansu Fati is back and Usman Dembele is close to returning. However, Coman seems to have lost the faith of the fans and the rest of the board, reaching a point of no return. So even a win against Atletico Madrid will not save Coman's job. Take note of that. Coman must be sacked after that. It has been confirmed. So now we're talking about the surprise replacement of Coman and this candidate have just emerged. The rumor mill has been given, like have been going very wide with speculations over who could replace Coman in the Barcelona dugout. Javi Hernandez, Roberto Martinez, and Andre Pelo have been the most strongly linked names so far. Why there have also been mentions of Oscar Garcia, you know the, the Rams coach, and Marcelo Gallardo, the River Plate coach. You know, so however, the most surprising name on the list of prospective candidates to take over from Coman at Barcelona is Juan Manuel Lillo, the assistant manager of Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola. Of course, the 55-year-old started his managerial career in his early 20s and has experienced coaching teams in Spain and across the globe. Indeed, he has been the head coach of several Spanish teams including UD Salamanca, Real Sociedad, Real Zaragoza, while he has also managed Colombian Giants, Millonarios, FC, Atletico Nacional. Of course, um, Juan Manuel Lillo had a stint in Mexico with you know, Dorados, the Signola, and where he managed Guardiola. He has also served as an assistant manager for Sevilla as well as the Chilean national team. The Spaniard has been serving as Guardiola's assistant at Manchester City since June last year. Prior to that, his most recent managerial role was with this Chinese club, Qingdao Wangai, whom he led to promotion to the Chinese Super League. Known for his footballing knowledge and tactical acumen, Lilo is someone that Guardiola considers a mentor. However, he has never held a managerial job at a high-profile club and has not tasted much success in his previous 18 stints as head coach either. So him being linked with Barcelona job comes off as a strange surprise to everyone, including me. But then again, these are strange and uncertain times at Barcelona. It remains to be seen which way Laporta sways. The only thing that seems certain at this point is Coman's impending exit. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona legend and former Ballon d'Or winner Don Luis Suarez Miramontes had very harsh words for Luke de Jong after his despicable performance for Barcelona on Wednesday. The Dutch striker missed multiple chances that were on a platter of goal against Benfica on the night, ultimately resulting in the team going down meekly. His poor performance in front of goal triggered the former Barcelona player who exploded on Corsel Deportivo Cadena SCR report that Suarez asked who recommended the signing of Luke de Jong to a club like Barcelona. In 68 minutes in the game, of course, Luke de Jong managed only one shot. Of course, despite being presented with chances on the platter repeatedly, he only recorded 15 touches in over an hour of play a clear indication of his inability to get involved. Moreover, he only made 8 accurate passes in the game, 
a statistic that is embarrassing beyond description at Barcelona. The story in La Liga has also been similar for the former Sevilla man. In three games for the Blaugrana, he has scored just one goal while looking completely disconnected in all three games. Ronald Koeman specifically asked for the signing of Luke de Jong at the end of the recently concluded transfer window. The Dutch manager said that the striker was of immense value especially in the air and claimed that he was even better than Neymar in that aspect. The start of life at Barcelona has not been pleasant for the Dutch forward. With Sergio Aguero nearing his complete fitness, it remains to be seen how long the young stays relevant in the manager's plans. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching, hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so you always stay up to date with the best update on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.